Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage today and in this video what I'm going to be doing is jacking up the rear end of the Acura RL. I just want to kind of do a once over on this car just to make sure it's prepared for fall and winter. So that's why I'm taking a look at both the front and the rear of the car. So should be a pretty short video, so stay tuned. All right, let's jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to do here is drive the car into the garage onto a flat level surface. Next, I place wheel chocks in front of and behind the front tires. Just like I mentioned in the G35X rear jackup video, this will be very important since we lose the assistance of the parking brake with the rear wheels off the ground. Okay, so on the rear of the car is a jack bracket you can use per the service manual. Now, just a warning here, this is not a Honda Acura recommended location, but you may be able to get a jack in this area between the rear wheels. And use your own discretion here. Continuing on using the jack bracket, the one thing about jacking up the rear of the car in this fashion is that the rear struts extend. So I'm using a jack that has a 22 inch max lift height. And I would say this is probably the bare minimum you'll want to use. And I stop part way through this operation to make sure the jack bracket is still centered on the jack pad. All right, so once I get the car jacked up to the height I need, I slide the jack stand under the car by passing it between the tire and the rocker panel then position it under the pinch well. And I repeat this process for the other side of the car. <laughs> Lastly, I lower the car onto the jack stands, then I make sure the wheel chocks are firmly in place. And that's it. <laughs> 